Hey guys and welcome to a chatty video with me. So a lot of you must have finished your exams and are wondering if you want to pursue engineering or some of you must have begun your engineering journey. So I'm a third year engineering student and I'm going to be sharing with you some truths about engineering that you did not know before. The first truth is you need to be aware of expectation versus reality. When we all were in school class 11 and 12, I think all of us have been told that once you enter into college, life is going to be set. It's going to be all fun and games and no work. While you will enjoy your college life, mostly 90% of it is going to be work. So this is a harsh reality you need to come to terms with that not just will you be building something fun like building robots, you will also have lab records, assignments to write and deadlines to meet. So engineering also involves a lot of grind and hard work. Talking about hard work, I'm going to tell you guys the second truth that is the daily life of an engineering student. So like any other college, we have classes from 9 to 4 and before you ask, you cannot skip these classes because we also have labs. So what happened with me was my lab internal marks depended on my attendance. So the more labs I attended, the more chance I had of getting a higher grade. So in a way, it was compulsory. Apart from that, we also have a 75% attendance criteria in most colleges except a few. So you have to come to college whether you like it or not, whether you're learning anything or not, it is mandatory that you have above 75%. So you come back home or if you're staying in hostel, you're done by 4, 4.30 and by the time you start you know doing things of your own like you have coding you have um, programming to do you have uh, extracurriculars that you might like and you know even studying for exams everything is very difficult to handle with the limited time that you have talking about exams it's true that engineering students are known to study one night before the exam as they say one night batting However, our exam schedules at times are such that we have a month of exams continuously. So we have our internal theory exams, our internal lab exams, external theory exams, external lab exams all together at once. So when you're studying night after night for a whole month, it takes a toll on your sleep schedule, it affects your health and it becomes very hard to balance. The third truth is that many students, they choose a course just because they have no other option or because that is what they got in their counseling without having any knowledge of it and later they end up regretting it or they're unable to complete it. So before you take a course in engineering, it is important that you research on it, research on what you're going to be studying, if it's something you're going to be capable in doing. Because yes, I agree that college matters as well getting into a good college matters but college does not guarantee you placements so being able to do what interests you or being able to do something that you know is in trend in current technology that is going to help you more so i would suggest that you research what course you want to take and as of now, uh, courses like computer science with artificial intelligence, computer science with data science, things like this are trending. So it is important that you do your background work first and then take the step of what you want to do in engineering. The fourth truth is what no one tells you that is first your CGPA is important whether you're going to sit for placements or you're going abroad for studies your CGPA is very vital because that's the first thing that's going to be checked so you should never take that lightly and the second thing is your skills your projects done and your networking matters more so talking from personal experience uh, when you have campus interviews placement interviews the main thing that is checked is your skills you're going to have to give coding assessments and you know um, interviews where your knowledge is going to be checked 
plus on your resumes it is a bonus to add all of the projects that you've done i've seen in fourth year students struggling with not being able to add anything to their resume because they haven't given enough time to projects so you may be wondering projects like what so you're going to have many opportunities like hackathons where you can do software or hardware projects any of that experience is always going to be useful for you so while you're paying attention to cgpa also stress on your skills and the projects that you're developing talking about skills the fifth truth i'm going to tell you is you need to learn beyond the syllabus so while engineering is going to teach you a lot of things it is still structured and you're still going to learn core concepts but you need to learn beyond that so you need to give importance to learning through youtube or you know online courses like udemy open source all of that you need to put time and effort into learning the required skills for example you may want to learn a programming language like java while your college is going to teach you that who is going to help you practice that has to be done through self learning so if you don't understand concepts or if you just want to practice all of that has to be done through self learning because at the end of the day it's not just the skills that you put on paper but it's important that you have real world skills that you can actually apply and show when companies come or if you're going abroad the sixth truth i'm going to tell you guys is that internships are not handed out to you i was under the impression when i joined engineering that when i come to my third year second sem or my fourth year where automatically going to be provided internships by the college or you know it's going to be easy to get internships and i'm not going to be going to college i'm just going to be going and working but the truth is that it is competitive of course so getting an internship is not going to be handed out to you on a silver platter you might get opportunities depending on your college you might get more opportunities for an internship than other colleges but at the end of the day even for these internships the companies that come want to choose the top cream of the students that is all those who are performing extremely extraordinarily well among everyone else and you know when you don't get enough opportunities you yourself have to go out search and try and find opportunities for yourself I have a friend who got an internship just through Instagram in a really good company so he saw an ad and I guess applied to it and he had the required skills so he landed the internship so I guess my advice to you is that first focus on your skills and second apply to any opportunity that you see on LinkedIn through your placement officer online anywhere just apply to what you see is a good company and something that you would be interested in the next truth i'm going to tell you is that friendships can make or break your college experience talking about myself i'm the kind of person that in the past i have just sat down in one corner with a story book in my hand all alone with no one around me and i really enjoyed my own company at the same time i associated in certain places where i felt it was right for me where i liked the people around me and i thought it's going to help me so that helped improve my college experience for sure like i was able to get into student council i was able to be a part of many activities that improved my experience overall and it helped me you know network and come out of my bubble so that would be my advice to you as well you need to learn to enjoy your own company when it is necessary plus also associate and with the right people of course choose your friends very wisely and just even if you're an introvert try your best to come out of your bubble explore new things because that is definitely going to improve your college experience the next truth i'm going to tell you is about placements so like i said just because you're getting into a good college does not mean you'll get a placement like this instead you're going to have to work for it it's pretty competitive and companies when they come the rounds that they have they have a coding assessment so your coding knowledge programming knowledge is going to be tested dsa is an important concept concepts like dynamic programming 
so pay attention to all of these concepts while preparing and you also have rounds like group discussion and a personal interview so have an overall idea of what you're going to face when you go for a job interview also there are dream companies companies that you would want to get into just have a background of what those companies values are and what they're offering also you have mass recruiters that take like 100 to 200 students and after a training period they end up taking a handful of them the remaining students find it difficult to get another placement so this is something that happened uh, with students who are my seniors so just be aware of what you're getting into and then you'll be able to prepare better and be fully ready when placements begin in your college. Another sad truth about engineering is that it can take a toll on your mental health because most students when they enter engineering they don't know what they want to do with their future. I remember in our class when they asked us what you want to become um, most of the students including me we just went with the flow of what others were saying. Some were saying software engineer, some were saying full stack developer, front end, back end and we were so clueless. I remember I gave an answer that I wasn't even sure I want to do in the future. So it's true that you know you're not educated enough on what the job roles can be that you can get into. So you, do, you can do your research beforehand instead of you know feeling like a lost cause throughout your engineering try and sit down and figure out with a mentor or a parent or someone who has knowledge that what is the career path I can follow after my engineering is done because you're not getting the degree just to call yourself an engineer so that will help you feel a little less lost the second thing is there is always constant competition you're always looking at what others are doing oh they're learning so many programming languages oh they're doing these projects they're winning in these hackathons and these competitions so there's always a constant competition and worry in your mind that i'm not doing enough so i would just suggest that do not look at anyone else it is firstly never too late to start and secondly focus on your own journey and not anyone else's because at the end of the day you have to be satisfied with what you learned and that you have grown if you have grown you should be more than happy even if you're way behind someone else just know that someday you're going to catch up and that you're learning and you're growing as well so engineering can be stressful but you also need to balance it and try and not take it too hard on yourself lastly i'll talk about things i wish i did differently the first one is i wish that i worked on my portfolio from the very beginning and portfolio i'm talking about your projects on github so github is where all of the projects you've done related to programming like i've made a birthday card website sort of thing or a movie recommendation website things like that the reason i'm telling you all of this is because if you've not started yet this can help you have a good engineering journey which is successful and like me if you already started but you did not do all this before you can still do it now it's never too late to start because i'm in a good place and i'm happy with the progress i've made so you can definitely reach a point where you're happy with how much hard work you've put in so that's it for this video guys i hope i was able to answer some questions you might have had about engineering or told you things that you never knew about and it's going to help you in making the right decision for your future if you did like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye